Muslim places. From classic cars to vintage cheeky bars. And today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada for Viva, Viva Las, Las Vegas, Vegas, baby. <laughs> Montana, California. All right. Here with the Serpents Car Club. Yeah, I saw you guys, and you guys saved my bacon earlier with some water. That's Duke right. Was getting, keep hydrated Duke was getting this. Uh, <laughs> it's it's hot out here. City fucking hell, hell of a sun. It's gonna be a 104 degree day. <laughs> so what do we got here, man? Yeah, this is a 1950 sports coupe, Chevy mm -hmm. sports coupe. Yeah. With a 283 700R, laid out on some uh, some bags, a little custom paintwork. I love it. Like I said, it's clean like ice cream. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, did you do the interior yourself? No, I got I got a guy that does my interior, uh, does the paint. I did all the metal work, all the suspension work, okay, all the mechanicals, you know, all the electrical. It's, but I got somebody that does paint and body and, and interior. Well, whoever you got, it did an amazing job on that. I, yeah. I love like even the gear shifter and the knobs on the dash, like. It's all right it's in. all a car community thing. So yeah. watching from the dead sleds right over here actually painted the car. Okay. So it's all amongst you know the car community helping each other out. That's right, man. Yeah. So drove it from from Cali to uh, to Sin City. So no overheating problems. Not at all. 150 all, right. all the way. I love it. Well, thank you so much for yeah, coming to Viva, appreciate man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Gotta love it when you got the vintage cooler. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a retro cooler. <laughs> so well, that's definitely not a stock bell or motor you're running in there. <laughs> Hey, fine, sir. Good. And you said you watch our channel, so all the time. Thank you. I love it. And what have we got here? Because I had to stop. 54 Kaiser Manhattan. Amazing. I love it. So how hopefully long it's the only one here. <laughs> I think it is the only one here for sure. How long have you had it? About a year. A year. And did you get it in this condition? Uh, no. No. What did you do to it? Um, can I start from the front to the back? Let's go for it, buddy. Okay, the front bumper used to have Dagmars at a 45 degree angle on both sides. And then it had eyebrows up here. And it was, I shortened the uh, splash pan and the bumper brackets and sucked the whole thing in after I cleaned it up. So it doesn't stick out like two feet so anymore. It, yeah, it was sticking, it looked like it stuck out two feet. <laughs> it looked awful. Well, I love it. Did it come in this color? Uh, no. I had it painted too. Oh, I love it. It was the same color without metallic. My son and I put bags on the rear. Bags on the rear. And we put uh, lake pipes on it. Other than that, I have not done anything other than drove it. I've made three trips to Vegas. So, so what is the stock motor in this? It's a flathead six cylinder, uh, 100 horsepower, but oh. mine's 140 because it came with a stock supercharger. Wow. I was going to say, I was, I was going to guess 85 horsepower, but you about doubled that. Well, the, the stock uh, supercharger gives it 40 extra horsepower. Nice. It is, it is stunning. That's why I had to stop. I'm like, wait a second. It's on the tip of my tongue. What am I looking at here? And it's got a four speed automatic, uh, hydromatic. Um, I didn't know they had four speed automatics until I got this car. But I bet it rides smooth. It rides like a Cadillac. <laughs> oh, it rides so nice. You can cruise at 60 and 70 all day long and get 20 miles per gallon. Oh, I love it. I love it. So what is your name? Bob Witt. And where are you from, Bob? 29 Palms. 29 Palms. All right. Well, thank you so much for bringing this unique ride and, and thank you for watching our channel. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. 
amazing. You guys are just killing it today out here. And you said it's your first Viva? This is our first Viva. First Viva, you guys brought the heat. I love it. Thank is that you. That's why it's so hot out here. Right? I love it. <laughs> Did you guys get these custom made? Yes, it's custom made. Oh, gold and turquoise, Lola. It's my favorite. It's your favorite colors. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. You guys keep it up. I'll Thank see you, you next year. Yes. What are you doing today, man? Good, good, good. How are and you? And what is your name? My name's Andrew Tronis. Thank you so much. And Andrew, this is our second time through here. The, the camera shut off a minute ago, so let's hope it doesn't do that again. <laughs> right, so, right, right. So tell us about your custom ride. So it's a 74 Chevy C10. Uh, my dad bought it new in 75 off the lot. Um, I've built it a few different times and this is the latest and greatest version of it and this is going to be the last version of it because i'm going to do it again <laughs> and like we're saying it's got that amazing socal look and, right and it, it's it, it's so screamingly rockabilly for for such a modern right. ride i love it right um so so what gave you the inspiration for the tuck and roll interior so when my dad had initially bought the truck back in the in the late 70s it was a hot rodder kind of thing and, and that's what they were doing so when he did the upholstery way back when, it was the same basic design, same mm -hmm. basic tuck and roll and everything. So when I redid it this time to pay homage to that, I was like, well, I'll just do it the same way my dad did it, but I'll just do it in the different colors that go with the with the flow. Amazing. Well, I, I love it. it. It's just, it just pops for sure. All right, all right, all right. Hear me out, Lola, hear me out. I'm just saying, there's another way we could go with our trailer. Another way, you know, I mean, it's it's, it's taking, taking the Atomic Bikini Grotto, our home tiki bar, with us in the trailer. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Tiki, 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 tiki. Uh, I like it. What do you say, what do you say? What do you, I this? like it. Uh, not for me, because I already have a tiki bar, but this is pretty awesome. Damn it. I tried to make it happen. Not this time. Is there something scary in that car, Lola? Scary, something yeah. Something scary? Oh no. I mean, I, I I love these, by the way. Those are amazing, but yeah. apparently the shifter has a spidey in it. Oh my gosh, it does. And look at the spiders up here in Lola the lake. refuses to get in that car. <laughs> Scott Campbell. And where are you from, Scott? Placerville, California. Oh, Placerville. Okay, just outside of Sacktown. Yeah. I love it. What I brought to the show is the 1960 Zenith. Zenith is made by Bulls Arrow. Yeah. A uh, 19-foot canned ham restored by my company, Retro Lux Vintage Trailers. Nice. That was good. That was going to be the next question. Who did it? And I know it's pretty rare to see a full bathroom in one of these of this era. Amazing. Is that is that your decision? Is that why you got it? Well, actually, my wife liked it so much, so <laughs> this wasn't the See, that's it. Film. The yeah. wife's like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> well, I love it, man. So what, what condition was it in when you got it? Horrible. Horrible. We had to completely redo it. That's what it looks like. Took it down to the frame, all new siding, the whole bit. Well, the siding's original. We kept it. Oh, really? You got the original? Extruded. So I happily, the exterior was in good condition. Oh, wow. Even the lower siding? Yeah. Well, there's a couple pieces I had to rebuild. That was this piece, because uh, the owner back in the day, Grandpa crashed it into the Golden Gate Bridge. That was a story. Well, that's a story and a half, though, man. That's a great story. So, I yeah, love it. I've got it for oh, my I'll turn those on. Goodness there. gracious. I love the cat. Countertops. Yeah. Outstanding. That is amazing. Well, uh, I think I found out what countertops we want. And they so even pretty. go with the curtains. 
This is what this is. What, this, these are the things that I know my wife Catch looks the for. bar. The bar looks really cute. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. They got the Space Atomic Kitty on the bed. They've got a full bar in here because how else do you roll without that? Original refrigerator. I'm liking all of this. Hola. Hola. I can't wait. And the best part of all, right here, pretty rare in these vintage trailers, is a full bathroom. This is how you roll the Viva. This is how you roll the Viva. This is what we're going to do. Las Vegas, and I hear that maybe you're the minister. I am. Is that it? We got a pinup minister and a pinup. And, oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! Yeah, really. Only way to do it. How many of these vivas have you been to? This is our very first. Your oh, first viva, it. and you're already getting married. Absolutely, that's, no better place to go. That's what we're talking about right here, folks. That's it. So welcome to Viva Las Vegas Rockabilly Car Show 24. We are gathered here on this very important day to witness and celebrate the exchanging of vows between Rob and Jen in the bonds of holy matrimony. We gotta get you guys to drag here. You guys are ready to go. I bet on the guy with the martini shaker, but this guy's got martinis on the shirt, so I don't know. Yellow or blue, which one's gonna win? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing wonderful out here on a sunny day. What's your name? My name is Chris Guerrero. I am from Eastvale, California. Okay. And uh, I own a 1950 business coupe. I love it. And I saw you put hydraulics and everything on it. Four link setup, 350 motor, 400 R trans, and uh, that's what it does, man. She gets us out here from over there. We drove it out <laughs> Thursday morning. It's about five hours? It took us uh, four hours. Uh, one of our cars sent it up overheating a little bit, but okay. other than that, we made it safe. That's yeah. all that matters. Just gotta keep rolling, right? Yes, we do. So how long have you had it? I've had this car for about six years already. Okay. Yeah. And did it come in this condition? It came painted. I've done most of the touch-up and details on the car. Okay. Interior-wise and electrical, fence striping, some windows, a lot of stuff. It's, it's <laughs> been fun. It's a fun project. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, thank you so much for bringing thank it Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Take care. Tiki Farm themselves are here. I like all of it. <laughs> What's not to like? <laughs> Lola, how do you know you're at a rockabilly festival? 
could it be that we have Suavecito on this side? You got Suavecito right here. And, and then, then you got, wait, your eyes do not deceive you. You have more Suavecito. How are you doing today? Good. And what is your name? My name is Stan Fury. And where are you from, Stan? Riverside, California. Riverside, California. Well, I love it. We're right next to the last ride we interviewed, and right here is another one from that was in Hot Rod Magazine. Hot Rod Magazine. And what have we got? It's a 1955 Buick Century. Yeah. Oh, it is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. So, is this the original paint? Original paint. Just left the patina on it. Uh, left it. Uh, I got it, and I just commented it. And and got it where it is and put some wax on it. That's all it is. And the seats, I redone the seats exactly what it was. I was going to say, if those are redone, they look original. Yeah, they're that the is same material, all the material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that vinyl, but it's it's amazing. It matches the yeah. paint and everything. So what else have you done to it? Uh, put the new motor, you want it, or not motor. Yeah, go ahead. It's the same original motor. Everybody wants to see. Rebuilt the oh, motor. Oh, dear Lord, that is pretty. It's uh, original. I love that. So you had that redone. Yeah, I had rebuilt everything. So all, all original though. Yeah. I'm trying not to geek out on the on the camera <laughs> too much. That is amazing. I love it. It's fun. I don't got to worry about the paint getting messed up. Yeah. Pile them in there and let, I, I let personally girl I, I hear mixed things, but personally I'm a big fan of the original patina if, if you can pull it off. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of the patina to be quite honest, but I just there was too much color on here to do it. Yeah. 1955 paint. I couldn't, a, I couldn't well, do it. I'm not I'm not a big fan of when they put wraps on it. I'm yeah. sorry guys, yeah. but that's just not my thing. Right. But uh, I love it when it's original. Right. Classic car owner in his natural habitat. Shining. Good morning. <laughs> He's got the swivel seats from a Fury in there. That's crazy. This is my fourth time seeing it, and it's still just as impressive. This is my first time seeing it. I'll do it. Waiting for a long time. It doesn't ever. I saw it rolling Oh my gosh, trailer. Lola found something else. I found a pink Coleman to match the pink Coleman that we just We just caught. got a pink Coleman yesterday. This is going to have to get shipped. Like that thermojug right back there. We got the exact same one. Well, ours is a little different. It has a different handle, but yeah, yeah. still pink. Um, I think we Leave need this. Leave it to the lady to pick out a different handle. I think we need this one, don't you? Come on. I don't know. Is it 5 million pesos? It's 100 pesos. Oh, no, it's $100. 100 how many pesos that is. That's like 5 million pesos right there. <laughs> Uh, I think we can handle that though. We could totally handle that, but I don't know how we would get it. We would have to ship it. Ugh. But it would go so good in our atomic We could put kidney. the other one inside of it and we could just carry it onto the plane like that. That would be my carry-on. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to follow up with do we or do we not make this home? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Lola, did you find friends to take your? Uh, yes. To take we it have, back. We have our little pink. Um, still delicious. Our little. We pink have friends whom cooler. whom we shall not name. Yes. They will our remain nameless. Cooler that's coming back to Oregon, and we have some lovely friends who are going to bring. This back is for. why Oregon people are the best people. Oregon people are the best people. Yes. That is true. So thank you guys. We'll have to come up. We'll have to show up at your house with a gift, some sort of a. Alcohol will, will you bring it back? Lickety split. <laughs> yeah. 